right, you guys, it is that time again to head into the winter garden. I'm not sitting here today. I will be sitting here <laughs> because it's too sunny here. I, I think that the glare would be too much. And so you guys will get me and uh, baskets today. Hello and welcome to a homespun house. My name is Molly and it seems so weird to be sitting in this chair in this room because usually I'm over there on the sofa and uh, right now Oli is staring at me. So I kind of have an audience. Hi Oli. Are you watching me? <laughs> yep. Look at all of these beautiful projects that I'm working on. So many pretty projects. I didn't open up a window. I'm sitting right next to the window right now, so that's super easy. We don't have a screen on this window, so I'm going to have to be very careful as Oli likes to poke his head out of windows when they're open, which could be kind of bad if he just ran outside. So I have been rereading Little House series. I finished Little House in the Big Woods. We had a yarn club go up for this with Simply Serving. It will be shipping very, very soon in this month. So that's Little House in the Big Woods. And right now in the shop, we have Little House on the Prairie. I am rereading this book. It's written by Laura Ingalls Wilder and we are having a yarn and charm club. You can choose if you'd like a fingering weight or DK weight skein of yarn, and then your choice of whether you'd like a charm from Simply Serving or whether you don't. If you guys love the Little House series, do not miss out on the charms. I cannot recommend enough. If you missed out on February's charm, I'm so sorry because I know when you see it, you guys are going to flip out. If you guys, have the chance if you're able to get um little house on the prairies charm don't miss out you guys it's such a special part of the entire series that's all i'm going to say i've seen the prototype for it so sweet so wonderful you guys are going to flip when you see that charm so i've been enjoying that book <laughs> I finished Robert socks. I was knitting them out of the Hacker's Paradise, which is a yarn that was designed by Robert. And I think he's wearing those right now. They were so much fun to knit. And Oli is coming over by the window. You are such a little stinker. You wanna get outside. Hmm? He's like, don't pick me up right now. I I want to get out that window. <laughs> You're such a little sweet little kitty. So I have finished those socks. I immediately cast on another pair of socks. The jeans that I usually wear rise slightly before my ankle. And I love to wear a fun pop of color for a sock. And I have been thinking and realizing that I would just love a bunch of tonal socks in colors that I really enjoy. In my mini market basket, I have a pair of socks that I'm knitting. Oh, Oli, you are such a stinker. I can just like see him. I wonder if we push on the window. Oh, you can. I should probably close that window. I don't, I do not feel like that's a good idea right now. He is just ruining my, am I just ruining your fun, Oli? Cats are so hilarious. Now he has just found the one sunny spot in the room and he's going to sit there. Okay, so I am knitting a pair of plain stockinette socks out of our Barbie colorway. I've already knit one. I went on a sock knitting, I don't know. I went crazy knitting these socks. I finished Robert's socks. I did not really have that strong of a desire to knit. 
And I thought, I want to be knitting something. I want to be moving my hands. I want to be creating. I need to cast on a pair of sock stockinette socks so that I can at least be doing something. So I chose the Barbie colorway because it's, it's beautiful. And I knit a little bit shorter of a cuff than I generally do, or a leg cuff also, I guess. It's about 15 rounds. I can go anywhere between 25, 15 rounds, but I like this perfectly. It is a 2.5 millimeter needle. Um, I used 56 stitches for myself and knit the leg, did a uh, heel flap and gusset. I knit the toe for 21 centimeters from the heel to the toe, and then I decreased and Kitchener stitched off, and I'm using our plump sock base. Isn't this so fun? It's so fun, and it's just, I think it's really pretty. I think it will look nice with black jeans, dark denim jeans, bleached blue jeans, and then a sweet pair of shoes. And I have quite a bit finished on my second sock, cuff, leg, heel, flap, and gusset. And now I'm working away on uh, the foot. I'm enjoying these. It's my first time using our plump sock base and I don't have anything bad to say about it. It is extremely textured. Uh, there is so much texture and twist to this um, yarn. It's a two-ply fingering weight yarn. Our soft sock base is a four-ply fingering weight yarn, and that's a lot more round. You can't see the plies really at all. And this is just fun. I'm really enjoying knitting it. I'm doing DPNs, Knit Pro Zings, and it's a lot of fun. It's something that I can zone out on and I've really enjoyed knitting it. So I've enjoyed these so much that I, my desire is strong. Oh, let me show you guys the progress keeper on here because I love it. So this is a Luna moth, springtime is coming and I really love moths and butterflies and my friend Katie from Lock and Lou made this Luna Moth last year. And I thought it just looked so pretty up against the Barbie colorway. And like I said, spring is coming. So I think I'm just wishing the Luna Moths into spring season. I think I said that quite some time ago that warm weather was coming and then we just got a huge snowfall but it's it's supposed to be 58 degrees this weekend fahrenheit do you guys like that i have a fahrenheit temperature for you this time i usually say celsius and a lot of you tell me you don't know what i'm talking about so 58 degrees fahrenheit this sunday and another mini market basket which thank you guys for supporting the market baskets from the women of ghana so much um, as you know, we are moving to Germany this spring and we will no longer be carrying baskets from Ghana. Never. It would be amazing if I could find a supplier in Germany, but as far as I know, I do not know of anywhere I can get these in Germany. So once we close shop, these will no longer be offered at a homespun house. Anyway, in my mini market basket, I have the colorway called Poppy. This is a new colorway to a homespun house. I love it so much. It's, it pairs really beautifully with Barbie. I probably will have to do something with the leftover bits from both of these socks because there will be a, a pretty good amount that I could do a fun project with these along with maybe two more colors. I didn't have any 2.5 millimeter needles on DPN, so I decided to use uh what is this what is this technique called magic loop i haven't done this in so long but i really wanted to cast on another pair of socks so i have a new progress keeper on these and i love this progress keeper so much this is a dumpling made by simply serving 
and it is so freaking sweet. It, it looks good enough to eat, other than the eyes and the nose, of course, but it looks delicious. So again, this is our poppy colorway. I'm using circular needles, 2.5, 56 stitches. I probably did about the same amount on the cuff here. And I'm enjoying this. I am just having so much fun playing with color of socks that I can use. I don't think I've ever knit a tonal sock. And I maybe imagined that knitting a tonal sock in plain old stockinette stitch would get boring, but it's not at all. It's extremely fulfilling. And I know that I will wear these socks all the time. I'm thinking I might knit my next pair out of our Deegan colorway, which is an extremely bright blue. I might even do hopscotch, and then I would just have a bunch of pink toned, well, this is a lot more red, orange toned socks, but I think Deegan and hopscotch could both be really, really nice but I'm enjoying knitting out of Poppy. I've wanted to knit something out of it since I dyed it. So I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. And I chose our plump merino base for these socks as well, just, just for fun. Um, yeah, it's great. I have really loved it. <laughs> I'm knitting another pair of socks and these are inside of our everyday market basket. This is a bit bigger. And um, you guys have seen these in most of the episodes, but I'm finally almost finished with Ruby's second sock. Here we have Double Dare. We have Home for the Holidays, Holly Jolly Christmas. I almost always get that wrong. And I'm knitting the Blueberry Waffle sock. This pair of socks is for Ruby. And again, I have a very, very sweet Simply Serving Progress Keeper on here. Her little stocking with the teddy bear. And I love this. This is out of our Stellina base, which now will be rolling in the shop, mostly in club form, because I am not dyeing yarn for the shop anymore. There is no more yarn being dyed for the shop other than clubs and mini sets. And my sister might have a couple of sock sets here and there. Um, over on my Patreon, I did an entire video showing which colorways will never ever be in the shop again. And that's pretty much almost every single colorway I dye for a homespun house. So if there is something that you want, I recommend getting it uh, because it probably will not see the light of day once we move to Germany. So... I am knitting these socks out of a two millimeter needle, and I'm knitting these using Haya Haya Sharp needles, which I absolutely love. I need to get some 2.5 Haya Haya Sharps on double points. I haven't been knitting on this too much as I've really been into the socks. Like I said, I finished Robert's socks, I'm knitting the Barbie socks, and I've cast on the Poppy socks. And I've probably done, I don't know. Let's see here, let me find my progress keeper. I have a new progress keeper on this cardigan because before I had a, um, I'm in the middle of a row and that's making it a little bit, and I'm losing stitches. I'm in the middle of a row, I'm losing stitches and I'm trying to find my progress keeper here which is super sweet. So before I had a progress keeper that was a like coffee cup and I don't know why I had it on Robert's project because it didn't make sense at all. And then I got some new progress keepers from Lindsay and I love them. So in my cozy memories basket, which how beautiful is this one? I have my sweater that I'm knitting for Roberts, and that is the Tamarack cardigan. 
And like I said, I'm in the middle of a row, so that's not the best. Um, and let me show you the progress keeper that I have from Lindsay. It's a Triceratops dinosaur, and it is so sweet. I love it. I hope that you guys can see that. So I am knitting his cardigan out of unicorn dust. I have that right here. And I am holding it double with ash. So merino, cashmere, nylon, DK base. And it is marling up beautifully. I need to do seed stitch for a very long time until I'm at the underarms. So I will be working on this for a while. It's a bulky yarn, so it shouldn't take me too long. Um, but I've just been loving knitting my socks so much. And he probably won't need this until, well, he could use it now or in the spring, but I'm imagining this is something that he's going to be able to use for fall, maybe. So that's fun. There is one thing that I do want to cast on, and that is the Metropolis sweater. It's a bulky knit, and it's by Tannis Lavelli. This is what it looks like. It's a free pattern. She and her husband just put up a new podcast. I have hair in my mouth. And um, she was wearing one of these without the turtleneck, and it looked so beautiful. So I would like to knit this sweater out of our non superwash yarn. So our Dale base is what it used to be. And I'm going to use our Penny colorway. That's another new a homespun house colorway. I've already dyed it up and I'm very, very excited to cast it on. I don't know if I'm going to do the turtleneck version or not. I haven't decided. So we will see about that. Um, I have really, really been loving dyeing up mini skeins for the shop and those will kind of be rolling in in very small, one of a kind quantities. Um, and that's pretty much the new products, I guess you could say, that will be coming into the shop other than yarn clubs. So here are three mini sets that I've dyed up. This first one is our Cosmic Dust Minis set. It's kind of hard to see. I have them all tied together, but this is my absolute favorite. So you will get a collection with uh, Stellina and Plum Merino Base. And it's just so beautiful. I've kept one of these for myself as I know when we're moving and I'm not dying yarn. The shop will not be open for about five months. I will need yarn and I don't have a yarn stash. I have zero yarn stash. Isn't that kind of crazy? Um, my yarn stash is my shop. So I need to start saving some things to knit. And I did save one of these collections for myself. That's a 10 gram mini skein collection. There are 10 of those. And then I have a 20 gram mini skein collection. There are eight skeins of, of minis here. And this is our warmth mini skein collection. This is also a one of a kind, as are all of the mini skein collections. And we have some of it dyed up on our soft sock base and then some of it dyed up on our DK base. I had a customer and friend ask if I could dye up some DK weight minis and this is what I came up with and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. It's very pretty. It would make a gorgeous Tammy Gore shawl or any shawl or minis to add to your blanket. So the final collection is our introverting collection. And this is the same thing as the first 10 gram mini set. This is Stellina mixed with plump merino. Um, and these are all very limited. So if you guys want one, I recommend grabbing one. And I hope that you guys love these. They just look so pretty together. I think it would be magical to do something with these two sets. I've already seen a couple of you ordering them together. So I hope that you guys are doing a project together. That would be so much fun. So I have these inside of a large market basket. As we are moving to Germany, I'm 
hoarding a collection of these because I love them. I've had a great time knitting socks, dyeing up yarn, working on Robert's pullover, and I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Bye.